Good afternoon everyone, my name is Chloe Yasmin and in today's video, your girl is gonna be vlogging. So, basically in today's video, oh my gosh, this video was late and let me tell y'all. So, y'all know I love for my skin to be tan. I like tan skin, I don't know what it is. It just, I just feel like it's camera ready. I have acne prone skin so it also helps like even out my skin. So basically the other day I had nothing to do. I'm like, I have no work to do today. I'm about to go ahead and go out and tan. So I'm like, I'm thinking like maybe like an hour and a half, two hours. So I get out there and I was tanning for three hours, just sunbathing, okay? Oh my gosh. I woke up yesterday and this was on my forehead. Oh my gosh, girl, the heat rash, the heat rash was literally making me cringe. I was cringing at my own skin. So this morning I woke up, it's still all over my forehead. You guys can't really see it too badly, but it's still like all over my forehead. And it's not even sunburn. It's literally a heat rash. There was no burn underneath it. It was just those bumps. So this morning, yesterday I just kept it really simple with my niacinamide and my Vani cream. This morning I went ahead and put some BHA. I know that was a risk, but it worked. And when I tell y'all those little bumps have shrunk a lot, it was so much on my forehead this morning, oh my gosh. And then on top of that, y'all know I've been using this retinol, the retinol purging goes on for a pretty long time. Plus it's that time of the month, so you know I got this big old pimple on my cheek. So basically, it's a test of confidence today. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm sitting at my new vanity. I'm gonna be showing you guys this vanity today in my video. My brother built this vanity for me. It's super cute, it's super huge. I got it on Etsy. It had a little bit of a problem with shipping, then they delivered it to the wrong address. Thank gosh, the guy behind me wasn't a weak dude because it was 250 pounds. So he and my brother brought, my brother and him or whatever, they brought it over here and it was just a lot. Like he literally called me and he was like, hi, is this Chloe? I'm like, yeah, he was like, hey, you got a package at my door. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna head out there right now. I'm gonna come pick it up. He was like, I'm just letting you know that it's really heavy. I'm like, okay, no problem. Here I come. He's like, okay, but it's heavy. I wasn't rude at all. I was just in a really, like this day was like nonstop, go, 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 go. So I was phone call after phone call, business after business. Da, 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 da. And so I'm like, let me go pick up my brother and head over here. So I picked up my brother. We headed over to my place and we got it in here and it took him a little while to build this and then he built my huge bed, which I'm not gonna be showing in this video, but girl is getting, my place is coming together. Anyway. My closet is a literal mess, so I'm about to go ahead and go up in there in a minute and just go ahead and clean it out because I have clothes all over the floor. I finally bought some hangers. I haven't had any hangers. My closet looks disgusting and I just moved in. My closet looks like I've been living here for um, five months and just haven't done anything with it. Anyway, but before I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my whitening strips. I went ahead and bought these in my most recent video because yes, ma'am, ain't nothing like a nice smile. And my teeth are honestly not the straightest teeth So I feel like if you don't have straight teeth and you're insecure about it Just try to whiten your teeth If you can't afford braces, if you can't afford all the extra stuff Just try to whiten them Because I'm going to tell you guys There's been a lot of times where I've seen somebody and their teeth was like It wasn't straight But they had white teeth So it really didn't matter I like to only use the sensitive ones Because they really are good for sensitive teeth I noticed that my teeth are not sensitive after using these So these are definitely my top favorite Now y'all wanna come cut the grass, all the rent I pay, and my dang grass has been three foot, three feet high. The heck? I'm starting to turn into my mama for real. All the rent I pay, and then they wanna sit up here and... <laughs> it's real though, when you paying luxury prices, make sure you provide in luxury services. Ah, uh, the only thing I don't like with these dang lightning issues is they taste disgusting. With these, you just go ahead and leave them on for a half an hour. You go ahead and take them off and do them every single day. But if you're feeling any like sensitivity in your teeth, Give yourself a couple days and then go right back at it. Dang, I messed up my bottom uh, teeth whitening, tooth whitening strip, teeth whitening strip. So I gotta go ahead and open another one and use the bottom ones out of this packet. I'm so mad about that. These these things ain't cheap. Thirty dollars plus tax. Anyway, let me stop rambling and let's go ahead and start cleaning up this dang closet. I need to stop talking because I sound terrible right now. I should, I should, I should, I should. Let's hop into this dang closet and see what we're working with. All right, you guys. So this right here is my closet. It looks so bad. I know I sound terrible with these dang whitening strips, but listen, this dang closet is a dang mess. I can't even believe I got my closet looking like this. I just have not really felt like doing anything with it. So today is that day that I got to go ahead and just jump right into it. I haven't even got dressed today. I'm still in my pajamas, but girl, we gonna tackle this closet. We gonna tackle this closet. Okay. I ain't gonna hold y'all no longer. Let's hop right into getting this dang closet done because this is a shame. This is embarrassing as crap. And this ain't even half a quarter of all my clothing that I own.
yes ma'am it looks so good my closet is so nice like now that it's all organized i just see how good it looks like i just love how this all looks this shelf is actually broken but the maintenance man should be coming out to go ahead and fix that today or like in a couple days or whatever we have like the coolest maintenance man ever so he should be coming out to get that done i had to put in my work order um and basically everything is organized up there i just have like my bras my underwear my washcloths baby washcloth stuff like that but everything else is all organized and clean it looks so bad in here now it looks honestly amazing now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and spray the whole entire closet with this clean linen glaze spray Ain't nothing like coming into a clean good smelling closet so i'm gonna go ahead and spray that in there Turn off the light and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what kind of outfit that I plan on wearing today. I don't really have like my perfume or like sunglasses picked out, but I'll show you guys the outfit. Don't mind how I'm talking, you guys. It has not been the full oh, it has been the full 30 minutes. I was about to say it hasn't been. I need to go ahead and take my whitening strips out, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my outfit. Here is my white tube top and then my bralette that I'm gonna go ahead and wear under that. So I have these jeans, they're super cute. I showed them on my new summer wardrobe video, but they're just so long, but they're so nice looking. They're like really baggy and cute. And I wanna wear it with that tube top and then this snakeskin like shirt that has like a collar and stuff on it. It's so cute. I got these from Garage and I got this from H&M. Oh my gosh, I love this shirt so much. It goes so well with like my white tube tops, but I was also planning on wearing it with these pants. But I kind of feel like these do match a little bit better. But I feel like with how baggy these jeans are, they're going to go with this shirt so well. So I'm going to go ahead and try both of them on. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys whatever which one I like better. Okay, so I ended up choosing these super big baggy jeans. They're like, they're my size. I'm just not tall enough for them. So they go way past my foot. So I'm going to try to tweak it today, see how I can do it. I might have to keep pulling them up. But they're really cute and they do go with this outfit very well. So I decided to just go ahead and wear it. Anyway, this is my OOTD. All I need to do now is just go ahead and put on some deodorant. I need to go ahead and pick up my perfume and also pick up my sunglasses. But I thought that these jeans would be the most perfect ever. Okay, this is actually really cute. I'm definitely liking it. I'm definitely feeling it. It's going to be a little bit of a hassle to keep these jeans up. I already know they're going to get dirty. I have to go ahead and accept that. That is kind of like a part of having super long pants when you're short anyway let's go ahead and head to my vanity room so we can go ahead and pick up my perfume and also my sunglasses as you guys know like I don't have all my perfumes at my mom's house I literally have like hundreds of bottles of perfume like I literally am obsessed with perfume so I don't have that many over here but the ones that I did choose to use today because I really want to wear this one but it's almost gone so I have to go ahead and buy another bottle just so that I feel okay with spraying a good amount of it you know if I'm low on a bottle I just won't touch it till I get a new bottle like this is my second bottle of the Lancome Adelaide this is my second bottle of the Versace Ejos this is my second bottle of the My Burberry Blush. But today I will be mixing Gucci Bamboo. Love, 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 love this perfume. And I will also be mixing My Burberry Blush. This stuff, this has to be one of my strongest perfumes that I own. It doesn't matter what time you spray it, by the end of the day you will still smell like this and you really do not need that much. Even at nighttime, like you'll wake up the next morning and you will literally smell just like this. Like this is such a strong perfume, I'm literally obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray and mix these two together and I'm about to be smelling fine. I, yeah, this is my second bottle of the Gucci Bamboo as well. I go through perfume pretty fast. And y'all know I sprays perfume, okay? I don't really like to scrimp on my perfume. These dang dudes are taking forever to mow this dang grass. When I tell y'all they have been mowing this dang grass for about three hours. Girl, I thought three hours was a lot. They was out there for about seven. <laughs> but they did an amazing job. Like I was saying, I go ahead and I spray a good amount of perfume everywhere because I like for my perfume to last. And honestly, people think that like the most, the more expensive actual perfume does last way longer than body spray, hands down. But they don't make perfume the same as they used to make it. So it does kind of die off faster than how perfume is used to. on the perfume and like what brand because I noticed that Dior their perfumes last very long um and it also just depends on what perfume it is like my Bur my Burberry blush this junk does last all day this one is a really 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 good one another one that lasts all day is just this Jimmy Choo this is like the original Jimmy Choo perfume this one lasts all day um as well as the Idole or Idol Lancome perfume this one lasts all day as well but it really depends because stuff like Marc Jacobs I've noticed that Marc Jacobs their perfumes really do not last that long like I bought this perfect by Marc Jacobs and this stuff does not last like it literally lasts like a body spray or something like it's really not that strong now as far as my sunglasses go I am pretty sure these are gonna be the ones just because today's outfit is like a little bit different these are like the most different sunglasses that I have they are green they don't really match 
my outfit, but they are going to when I put them on. Okay. Yes, sir. These were definitely the sunglasses to go with this outfit. I feel like I'm going to have a hard time keeping them on my face because they look the best when they're like half eyed, like when they're down to my nose like this, but that bothers my eyes. So I know that when I'm driving, I will not be able to have these sunglasses on, but when I get in the store, maybe i just feel like i've never really been good with the whole beauty hurts thing like beauty is gonna be uncomfortable i don't really like all that i like to be comfortable so we'll see how we'll see how i do this we will see how far i go with these dang sunglasses but they're super cute i got these at target on my recent video so if you are looking for these glasses go ahead and check them out at target and do not mind this crazy bumpy forehead it's literally getting on my last nerve so i came and ran to target because i really need some more candles for my home i love candles and i go through them very fast but like the bath and body works ones are not on sale right now so they're a little pricey so i'm coming here to grab a bunch of these candles my favorite is the sheer vanilla embrace it smells so good this is literally what my whole entire crib smells like <laughs> crib so i want to go ahead and grab that i also grab this super cute like green type of swimsuit it's super cute the thing is, is i wear i mean i buy all these swimsuits and never end up wearing them so i literally need to make myself wear them before the end of summer and then these are my favorite t-shirts right now the v-neck t-shirts that i showed you guys in my recent video when i was shopping for them super cute the only one that i could not get was the blue one and then the burgundy one was really wasn't all that cute it kind of reminds me of my school uniforms a little bit too much but anyway they only have two left of the big sheer vanilla embrace candles so i'm gonna go ahead and grab both of those and then they have the smaller ones so i'm gonna go ahead and grab like three or four of those all right so i have four little ones two big ones and then i also really like the cashmere wood scent and they only have two of those left so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those two as well now i like the smaller ones for like my bathrooms and then like the bigger ones for like my kitchen and like larger areas and then I'll grab the last two of the smaller cashmere wood candle. Now I need to look for more plugins. I have a lot of plugins at the house, but they're not all sheer vanilla embrace, and that's my favorite right now. So I do want to stock up on the sheer vanilla embrace. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two, three, three more of these. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab three more of these Glade Plus plugins. Perfect for bathrooms, rooms, wherever you wanna put them. They work so good. And then I'm gonna grab two of these um, Pet Fresh Carpet Order Eliminators because these make your carpet smell so good. Oh, they have this carpet powder too. I'll grab two of those as well. Whew, we are stocking up, loading up. I like for my house to smell good. That is one thing I will invest in is my crib. And I'm also almost out of my other Clorox Sentiva cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one. This one is in the scent Tuscan Lavender and Jasmine. And it has like a scratch and sniff. And it smells really, really good. So yes, ma'am, we are stocking the heck up. Now, I already bought a mop and like broom and stuff like that for my house. All I need to get now is like laundry products. And I should be good. I got to grab me some more laundry detergent. So I'm going to go ahead and grab grab two bottles one moonlight breeze and then one island fresh they smell so good so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those two and then i honestly don't really need any fabric softener but i'm just gonna go ahead and grab one bottle just in case because i do go through more fabric softener than i do of the detergent and i actually have not tried downy in a while so i guess i'll go ahead and grab downy and call it a day i honestly should be good now all right sis, so your girl just made it home these carts make it so much easier to like roll your groceries and stuff in it's so cool but i wanted to show you guys the shoes that i wore these had like a really good platform on them so they did work for these really high jeans or whatever they really did work out so i did want to go ahead and show you guys that but i have to haul all this stuff because some of the stuff that i bought i didn't even show you guys i just gotta put the bacon in the refrigerator because my camera's about to die so i won't be able to show y'all that but i did get some bacon outfit change you guys already know you guys already know I don't know what it is, but I can't stay in the same outfit for too long. I always like be changing my outfits. I remember going up to my dad's side of the family. I did not like them at all. Anyway, they had like a house like up north or something like that. And we used to go up there and go swimming. Well, I would change my clothes all the time. I couldn't stay in a wet swimsuit and I would just change, change my mama packets a bunch of clothes and I would just have all access to them. So I would just change my clothes 24 seven. I had like a different outfit on and I would change like this. And so I remember my dad's mom being like, my dad's mom was like, I know you see all these other girls on the beach. They don't ever change their swimsuits. Why do you keep changing your swimsuits? I remember looking at this lady like, word for word, I remember telling her with sass in my voice. I was so upset. I remember being like, I'm not them. I'm not those girls. I'm Chloe. And I walked off. Well, her husband, his mom was there. She was like, you're good. That's what models do. Models are able to change like that. You have a talent, girl. You are able to change your clothes so fast, get in and out. I was like, thank you. Like, Finally, somebody, like, what are you coming at me for? You're not washing my clothes. You're not buying my clothes. And I don't mean to disrespect my elders, but I mean, come on, the respect wasn't there because of how she treated my mom. I remember somebody asking me like, why don't you like your grandmother? First of all, that's not my grandmother. I remember telling them like, that's not my grandmother. 
Second of all, she's rude and she treated my mom like crap and she's 100% racist. And if we would have came out just a little bit darker, she'd have been like, those are not my grandkids. They're not ill. They're like black. Like they're like, yeah. We were talking about racist grandparents one time in class. And this is when I was in public schooling. And my teacher, she was like, um, talking about, she was reading a book and it was like racist grandparents or something like that. And all the mixed kids were like, oh my gosh, like I cannot stand my mom's side of the family. They don't like us because we're mixed, this and this and that. And I remember being like, yeah, I feel the same exact way, but it's about my dad's side of the family. So we're walking out of class and she was like, Chloe, did I hear you say that it was your dad's side of the family? What you mean? They racist against white folks? Even though there's 100% of things, she wasn't saying it like that's not possible. She was just asking like, what girl, that's crazy. And I was like, no, my dad's white. So his side of the family is white. She was like, girl. You why didn't you tell me your mama was black? Oh my gosh, it was something about you I knew was different. Oh, girl, you a real black woman. Literally, that's what she said to me. And I remember turning to my friends, telling them like, you're no less of a black woman, you know, but this was an older black lady. So in her opinion, she just feels like if you got a black mama, it's just different. She's a black mom, you know? And I ain't trying to start no controversial sub anything. That's just what she said. This ain't what I said, but I don't think she had ever seen somebody with a black mom, white dad. It's not very common. I actually went to the mall with some church friends and the guy was cleaning my friend's shoe and he was like, hey, what's your name? I'm like, can you please just focus on my friend's shoes in my mind, but I don't want to be rude. So I'm like, my name's Chloe, what's your name? And he was like, yeah, my name is this and this and that. Yeah, yeah, you got nice hair. Ooh, uh, what you mix with? I was like, I'm black and white. He was like, oh yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, you know, my mom's white or whatever, but you know, I don't really mess with, I forgot what side he said he didn't mess with both sides he didn't mess with i was like yeah for me it's the opposite i said but yeah my dad's had to tell me i don't really mess with he was like oh wait your mom you ain't even really black then if your dad's not black you're not black and that's what i was told you know majority of my life by friends that were mixed with black fathers that i wasn't mixed or i wasn't black because my mom was black and my dad was white totally off subject i'm just gonna go ahead and hold this stuff really quickly for you guys so y'all already knew i got my cleaner i'm almost out of my other cleaner i love these new clorox like scented cleaners because they smell so good and i got me some macaroni and cheese i'm gonna go ahead and cook the bacon that i got and put it in there maybe we'll see because i'll be playing this stuff and don't end up doing it uh, i needed some ketchup the other day because i made some breakfast potatoes and did not have no ketchup so i had to go ahead and grab some ketchup I got some Arm & Hammer baking soda because bleach makes your clothes yellow. They make your whites yellow. And literally, my clothes have been getting yellow from bleach. So, I'm just going to start using baking soda and vinegar. You already know I got my detergent. I got my carpet powder in here and my downy, my fabric softener. I got all those cute shirts that I picked up. The gray one, the white one, the black one, the v-neck, so whatever. I love those v-necks. They fit so cute. They're so perfect. Um, I got this huge thing of vinegar huge thing of vinegar for my laundry because girl i'm tired of this these whites not being white now these are expensive they're like six dollars each but they just look so much better in my house and they really do light up so i bought a bunch of these plug-in or whatever these plug-in controls i'm about to go ahead and plug one into my bathroom and one in my other bathroom and then i'm not really sure where this one's gonna go but i love to have plugins everywhere i haven't had a pop so i went ahead and bought the cheapest one that i could find it was eight dollars because girl now that i'm out of my mama's house i'm starting to see how expensive life is for real like yes i've been paying bills since i was like 15 16 but food it's just certain things like toilet paper tish like everything that be in the house i have to rebuy everything i got me more carpet powder this is actually in the scent clean linen by glade got me some toilet bowl cleaner because y'all know i just be spraying bleach in there and using my dawn dish soap it worked good but hey i ain't had no actual toilet cleaner in a while and then the people that lived here before me they got my refrigerator smelling like straight garlic but i ain't got time what the heck did y'all have in that freezer in that refrigerator because they both smell the same they stink like garlic like any food that i have in there doesn't make the refrigerator stink so what the heck did they have in my refrigerator for real like it, it's sick I don't know what they had in there and I've cleaned it out multiple times. So I bought this fridge and freezer baking soda stuff. It's supposed to like absorb like all the stank that's in that dang refrigerator because oh my gosh, no. My favorite plugins, my sheer vanilla embrace. These smell so good. I got me some utensils because I haven't had any utensils. My other carpet powder and more detergent. Here are all my candles. I have so many candles, a bunch of cashmere wood and sheer vanilla embrace. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all these candles at. But I bought these two containers and one of them is broken. I don't know when it broke or how it broke, but it's broken. But these two containers are gonna go underneath my sink um, in my bathroom. And y'all know I like to stay up on my water. So I got my water cup. This is my new water cup. I love to drink water throughout the day and make sure that I'm getting my ice and drinking my water, drinking your water. You have to stay hydrated. 
females especially males too but just like you have if you don't want no body odor if you are cleaning yourself you're taking your probiotics you're taking your supplements you're doing everything but you're still smelling something are you drinking enough water because when you sweat and you're not drinking enough water odors will start to produce so all day and all night i'd be going up in this freezer getting my little ice usually i have water bottles but i ain't really feeling like doing that so this is way more better for the planet too I'm, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I don't really do all that planet stuff and I should. Oh my gosh, this pimple is annoying me. I get my little ice, I put it in there, run my water. I don't like tap water, but with ice, it don't taste bad. This is the best drink. I don't drink alcohol, but I'm gonna tell you straight up. If you do drink alcohol, make sure that you are drinking water while you are drinking your alcohol because the alcohol is gonna dehydrate your whole entire body and that's why people have hangovers and that's why people get sick. If you are drinking your alcohol, make sure you got water right next to it. You drink your glass of wine, drink your glass of water. Double the water. That's the smartest way to drink. I'm not a drinker, but I know that that's the smartest way to drink. Trust me, I got people in my family that let me know on the groove, you know, even though I ain't no drinker. I ain't judging nobody that does, so if you are, might as well give you the best advice. If you want to be smart, that's how you want to drink. And I already know all my holier-than-thou Christians are going to be like, why are you giving people advice? You're just giving them advice to drink. I ain't saying that. People going to drink, period. I can't stop nobody. All I can do is try to give advice, tell them what the Bible says, and call it what it is. But if you're going to do it, just like if I had kids, and I keep telling them over and over again, this ain't it, but they gonna keep doing it. Well, if you gonna do it, let me tell you the right way how to do it. That's just my point of view or my perspective. From my perspective, that's just how I look at it. Everybody ain't gonna look at it that way, but that's how I'm gonna look at it because I would rather give advice to do it safely. I'm about to go ahead and do a quick Amazon haul because I've been stacking up my packages so I can show y'all what I have been getting. So I always brush my eyebrows out with um, eyelash spoolies, but my lash lady recently has been giving me like curved eyelash spoolies. And they actually work better to brush my eyebrows. So I went online and I found these disposable curved mascara wands. Usually they give you like 200 of them for like $4. These, they only gave me 50 of them for $10 because they have a bamboo stick. So these are like really high quality. I hate this pimple. It's literally bothering me so bad. If my skin wasn't purging, I would honestly be concerned. Y'all see how it's like curved, but it's like on a bamboo stick. So it's like really high quality. Oh my gosh. Heck yes. My mom bought one of these. Oh heck yes! My mom bought one of these. It's an LED light like star projector. And I told her when she bought it that she should use it when she gets in the shower. And she was like, girl, I don't know about that. I don't really need it for that. I bought it for this. And I was like, mom, I'm telling you, people use it when they get in the shower. So she used it while she got in the shower and she listened to me and she was like, oh my gosh, it's a total game changer. So I was in her bathroom and I turned off her light and I put it on. Yo, when I tell you, this is like the best thing ever. And it's Bluetooth, so like you can listen to music on it. Ah, this is so freaking cool. I love this. This is cool. I shouldn't be in this club. So here we are three, four months later and they're finally delivered. But this used to be my shave cream for when I shave downstairs or whatever. It works for like my underarms and stuff like that. But like this used to be my shaving cream. I ordered this a while ago and it never came. And the last package, what the heck is this? Oh, I know what this is. I went to my sister's house the other day 
And my favorite jam that I use for my hair, I can only find at like the hood Dollar Generals and the hood stores. Well, I hate going in hood stores because y'all already know like how people act at gas stations and uh, corner stores and Dollar Generals and stuff. I ain't got time for it. So, I just paid a little extra to get the shining gems in the mail and it was a three pack. All right, so now I'm just going ahead and getting all the plug-ins inside of the plug-in thing. And I always make sure to put it on 16 minutes. I want it to be released every 16 minutes. And then I also put it on the highest, the highest rating because that means that more um, oil will come out and it'll smell stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these done. I'm gonna go ahead and put one in each of my bathrooms. And then the other one, I'm not really sure where it's gonna go. I just gotta figure out the best place for it. And I think I might've found a place for it like by my kitchen so now we have all three of these let me make sure that all of them are on 16 minutes and they're at the highest cool when i plug them in they will all light up and then they'll start flashing when the oil is almost gone now i'm gonna go ahead and plug in my sheer vanilla embrace plug in look at us girl it's about to be smelling fire in here i love that when i'm doing laundry like my whole entire house smells like laundry okay so i was gonna put this in my kitchen but i'm thinking i need two of them in my room so i have this one and then this one over here now this one's just gonna go in my master bath the bathroom that i use every single day i don't shower in my master bath because i gotta have the maintenance man come out because it's all clogged I got my swimsuits on the floor. This actually, I bought this in our recent video. This actually ended up being a little bit too big, so I should have just got the small. And then I went and bought like these new Betray Secret leg bottoms, um, by the town or whatever. And then this swimsuit that I bought in my recent video, the top was way too small. So, pretty annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in in my bathroom. It is about to be smelling fire. I'm so excited, you guys. I love getting new plugins and plugging them in all over my house. Now I have three more plugins, so that means my house is gonna smell three times better. Okay, <laughs> that's not even true, but hey. So I ended up using one of those gray containers for my kitchen, for inside my kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and use that down there. And then I use the other one for my bathroom. Also, in my closet, I put away those shirts that I got today. So those are like the little four shirts that I got today. Put those away, I had to put everything away. I don't like bags that are not put away. And then the other one I have in here to hold all my stuff, but this is still a I still have to like organize stuff. I just have so many products and stuff. It is time for the vanity reveal. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the top of it off with some Windex because it is glass. So I do have to make sure that I'm keeping up with that. Like my nieces came over the other day and they're putting their fingers all over my vanity and I'm like, girl, no. But here is the big reveal. Do not mind that cord. I'm actually able to play my music on here. It's Bluetooth. Here's a speaker. And then I have like an outlet plug on it so I can plug my um, camera up and stuff. And then I have another speaker over here. So it is pretty loud. I just gotta go ahead and get it all cleaned off. Beautiful vanity. I actually put my perfumes in here. I was thinking about not putting anything in here. But what I'm thinking about doing is taking these out and I'm gonna get a perfume um, shelf. I, I'm thinking about buying, even though I'm not a really big fan of like name brand stuff, I'm thinking about buying like some Chanel books and like some Louis Vuitton books to go in here to make it look good. I know I don't really buy stuff like that except for like perfumes, but hey, and then this is like my equipment and stuff. I have like my little tripod, my Fenty lip gloss and stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all this down. This is my vanity though, girl. It is fire. I got it off of Etsy. I'm gonna go ahead and link the two pieces down below. These two pieces came separately. I had like a little bit of an issue with shipping. I'm just gonna let you guys know that so I'm not falsely advertising because I did have a little bit of a problem and I did have to contact the seller a lot. But anyway, yeah, super easy just to wipe down really quickly with like some Windex, a really beautiful vanity. I really do love it. I love how I can listen to my Bluetooth and I can also turn down the lights. I can dim the lights. You see that they're dimming. Super cool, right? And then I can brighten them back up. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this down really quickly. Um, at the end of my day, like by the time I'm done with my full day, I'll get laundry done, wash some dishes, cook, clean, edit, get whatever done I have to get done. But I, I try to stay as active as possible. That's why I was really upset yesterday that I had nothing to do because it was really boring and it was really like, just not good. I don't like laying around. I think it's terrible for my mental health if I had to lay, lay around. Only if I'm not tired, like I wasn't tired. I really had no reason to be relaxing yesterday and I was relaxing and it was not fun. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my comforter out of the washer. It's smelling amazing, it smells like snuggle. Honestly, my whole entire house smells like snuggle right now because of me using snuggle. Go ahead and get that started in the dryer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get all these whites in here and see what this baking soda and vinegar does. Um, yeah, never use bleach for your whites. If you want to keep your whites white, just use vinegar and baking soda. My mom and my grandma would be making that very clear. And the other day, my dumb self wasn't even thinking straight, and I used bleach, and my stuff came out yellow as crap. I was very upset. So, yeah, it was bad. But I'm just going to go ahead and dig through all of this and find the white stuff. If it rains on me, if it rains, let it rain on me. I don't mind.
All right, so it's not too much in there. I usually never really have too many wipes to wash anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this detergent and use it in this small load. Like I said, I'm just gonna use the rest of it. Might as well because there's barely any left in there. Man, I remember when we used to get this dollar detergent. We were all out of uh, dish, dish soap, and so we had to use the dollar detergent that we had. And I remember coming home from a friend's house like, man, we ain't got no uh, dish soap. And my sister's boyfriend was like, no, nah, y'all mom said you just gotta use this right here to wash the dishes. She said it'll work all right. That's what we have been using. Cause my sister's boyfriend used to come over sometimes, which my mom never allowed boys over the house. But this dude wasn't like one of them like dangerous guys. He was like a big kid with us. Like he literally was playing with us. He was like an older brother. He was just, he was annoying, but he was a kid literal kid but yeah i remember we, i had to use that detergent and it worked terrible to wash the dishes it was terrible but that's really all we could afford that's really all we had we're going to the laundromat once a month because that's all we could afford so now that i have my own place and i'm able to do my own laundry it's like crazy sometimes you look back and you're like wow the lord really brought me a long way sometimes you have to really look back and you have to see where what you have come from because i'm gonna tell you what you get caught up in your new life you get so used to it, you forget. And I know because I have, I'm guilty of it. And then my mind will think back to the days of when we really didn't have nothing. When I used to be, when I used to have the worst anxiety, literally feeling sick and stressed out all the time as a little kid because I didn't know where our next meal was gonna come from and I didn't know if our lives were gonna be on for too much longer. You know, my dad had a pretty bad drug addiction, so that really didn't work out. Okay, so. Before I go ahead and end off this video and end off my night, which I'm gonna be ending off my night really early tonight because I gotta be up early in the morning. It's currently 5.02. I gotta go ahead and get to bed. So, I wanted to go ahead and talk really quickly because you guys know I'm a talker. I like to go ahead and do pep talks. I like to go ahead and have one-on-one -on -one time. Even though usually I end up editing so much stuff out because I feel like nobody really wants to hear somebody talk like that. I don't know. Basically, I wanted to talk about something because I feel like we are in the time of like goal setting and goal achieving. Like I know I'm not the only one. Like it is time to go ahead and start achieving our goals and reaching as far as we can in life. One thing that you have to prepare for is that when you are ready to go ahead and take that step and start working harder and venturing off and starting to achieve your goals and just taking the initiative to start your career, start your business, start college, whatever it is. I want you to understand and I want you to also prepare for distractions and attacks. The enemy don't want us to achieve our goals and become successful in life. That's pretty obvious. So he wants to make you miss what the Lord has planned for you. So he's going to try to send distractions, whether it's an ex, whether it's a family member, whether it's an old friend, whatever it is, prepare for distractions and prepare for attacks. And sometimes we don't realize that it was a distraction or a roadblock until we've acted on it. He's not gonna send you anything that you're gonna be like, oh, I don't care about that. No, he gonna send you something that you do care about, that you are most likely to fall into so that you have to take steps back instead of taking steps forward. The more that we resist temptation, the stronger we get. The longer you're walking with Jesus and the longer that you are in this journey with him, you realize he's never failed me. And every single time I pray for something and every single time something is going down, he's there and he's there to show out, show up and show out each time. And he will never fail. I feel like the Lord was telling me to go ahead and talk to you guys about this because I feel like it's time to go ahead and start getting serious um, and start reaching for our goals and achieving those goals and taking steps towards those goals no matter how old you are. With that being said, I know today's vlog was more of like a chill, laid back vlog. It wasn't anything crazy. I really wasn't outdoors too much. I usually go to like so many different stores and just stay out. But lately I just been wanting to stay in my house. I'm really comfortable where I am and the more you don't go out, the less money you spend. Okay, so that's a trick. <laughs> anyway, I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all in the mighty power for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you all. It's time for me to go.